y'all become an evil cop realizing he ran over somebody. First of all, how do you run over somebody, especially as a cop? One, first of all, bro, we gotta get off our phones, first of all. Like, nigga, like, if you, if you be, see, I can even talk, because I'll be one of them niggas, too. But listen, I'm trying to promote positivity, and I, listen, don't do what I say. Wait, don't do as I do, do what I say, or is it vice versa? Nigga, you get the point. Don't text and drive. Don't, don't call, don't have your phone in your hand. This nigga, just drive safe. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Welcome new people. I think it's Skype as ah. Let me turn this shit up. Oh, he ran. Oh, shit, he ain't going. Damn! He ran over an innocent civilian, killing her instantly. He killed? Oh, my fucking Christ. I didn't think he was going to show it. Fuck, why would you wait? Why did your dumb ass run out into the road? Hold on, I got so many damn. Why would you run? Hold on, bro. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Why did she run into the road? My dumb ass running the opposite way. What is you doing? This cop just ran over an innocent civilian, killing oh. her instantly. Wow. His co-worker trying to justify his actions. Justify? That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a train driver. But she is dead. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Hell did this nigga fucking laugh? This world evil as shit. This is supposed to be a cop. This nigga evil as hell. <laughs> Even worse, he's just been caught laughing and joking about this girl being killed, all while he thought his body cam was off. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. Shit. But cops get caught out like this all the time. Like when this cop was caught on her what the fuck? A mentally ill woman. I'm gonna kick this door. Oh, down fuck, you, nigga. Fuck, so you, nigga. fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. And this Hell man, nah. was so corrupt, he outright begged his partner I'm to sorry, bro. his camera with evil intention. My bad, y'all, for cussing like that, but fuck him. The fuck he means she had limited value. Hell no. Nah. Fuck you. On me. You too good to. Man, bro, I'm sorry, bro. That's lame, bro. That's so... What? Like, she had a family. She probably had kids. Yeah, we're hot. But let's first take a look at the cops caught for stealing thousands of dollars of property from an innocent man. The officers were supposed to be collecting his property as part of an eviction notice to return to him later. Sheriff Trailer Harris and Sheriff Banks were part of the team sent to help with an eviction in Missouri, but they decided they were just gonna help themselves to the expensive watches and jewelry. Awesome. To oh. cover, they tried to turn their body cams off, but Officer Banks, instead of turning it off, she turned hers back on. Oh no, don't come down here. Oh. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. Please. 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 This shit pissed me off, bro. Like, bro, we supposed to trust these people, bro. We supposed to trust them, like. You know what, bro? I, I think I look came to the conclusion. Fuck twelve, nigga. <laughs> Fuck them. Hey, nigga, I ain't calling y'all niggas. Fuck y'all, nigga. Brother, like, what the? Like, what's wrong with y'all? See, like, I don't even got tr Bro, do y'all, bro, if y'all go back, like, like, back into the videos when I first started reacting to, like, police videos, nigga, I was, like, the most innocent nigga in the world, nigga. I'm thinking, bro, life's so sweet, bro. Shout out to all the good cops. Nigga, fuck all y'all. Y'all all weird. Y'all all be doing some weird ass. What is this? Bro, he said, take that shit. Bruh, I worked hard for this. Bruh, I wish a nigga. Bruh, y'all see all this in the back? Listen, listen. I, this shit don't cost thousands of dollars. Maybe like add it up. But nigga, like if a nigga took. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Evil. Evil. This is more like a burglary than an eviction. Nigga, yes! For enforcement to become involved with an eviction, the they, better get, bro, they better get some time, I know that! ...that gives a tenant a certain amount of days to vacate the property. If they fail to leave, the cops get involved to assist in the moving process. We should be able to trust that they'll do their job and resist the temptation to help themselves. All of them? But for these cops, it was time to unload what they just looted. Hey, open your, um... Open. 
I need to go in the car for a minute. Huh? I need to go in the car for a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What you got? Uh, I'm shaking it. Put it in the pocket. I can leave it. Just sit in the ground seat. Sit in the ground seat. Uh-uh. Let me try to call it. What's the ground seat? Oh, he got it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. At this point, these cops have no legal base to justify their actions. During an eviction, officers may have legal grounds to remove personal items from the rental unit. However, they must follow certain procedures set out by law regarding storage wow. and disposal of the property. Wow. In this case, however, all we see them do is take items with fiscal value. And considering the whispered tone of their conversations, these actions lack any legal justification. But it's what wow. they do and say next that will be their ultimate Y'all gonna sell the... That's the best all. Mm. Okay. What is it? You should shut up out last night. <laughs> Please stop. So I would hate to sanitize it. Evil, bro. Evil as hell. You still in here? You Evil. find something else? Evil, bro. Get locked, bro. Lock them up. I swear to God, bro. If they still, if they still on the force, bro. If they still they on the force, bro. I swear to God. They all in dicks. Nigga, is they finna just decorate their house with the new shit? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I said the two hours I guess to start whenever they come in and move. Yeah. Yeah. All of them still in I'm not to do. Not only did these officers just rummage through and steal Ooh, whatever they purse. wanted, but now they're searching through the tenant's purse without any prior consent no, or probable bro. cause. It's After crazy. treating themselves, they finally let the tenants back inside to remove their personal belongings. A week later, the owner filed a theft report, sparking the investigation that discovered the accidental body cam footage. Thank In December 2022, Trailer Harris was convicted on charges of theft by a public servant and was given five years probation and a $10,000 fine. Banks managed to make a plea deal for a misdemeanor charge to avoid prison time, and both have been. Well, I, well, I cut the fuck up with you. Well, you help, but I be trying to, I be trying to like lay back because I like, like I'm not trying to, like I ain't trying to get this video reported or nothing. But like, bro, really? Like, I don't like. Come on, bro. Really? I'm supposed to feel safe around y'all, bro. Like, y'all gonna steal from me? Really? Y'all, y'all deserve everything. Y'all, y'all gotta come into y'all, bro. Fired from the police. I see why guys this evil shake his head up a mentally ill woman after threatening to tase her all without turning off her body cam. You wanna get tased? Yeah, I'm going. This is gonna be so fun. When Tulsa police officers respond to a 911 call, they find a woman has locked herself inside a store's bathroom and is refusing to leave. Inside that bathroom is 70 year old Madonna and she's in the middle of a major mental health crisis. Please, Tulsa police, can you open the door? LaDonna, can you open the door? No. So, you open the door, we're going to have to bust it down, okay? Oh, why would you do that? They don't mean to you. I know. They want you off this property. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. She won't talk. Mm -hmm. So, I tried. She yeah. won't come out. She won't open the door. <laughs> we have, a, we have like, a crisis team, but they're busy right now. They, like, handle it, but, like... Mental health. The store manager has every right to ask the woman to leave, and her refusal now makes this a potential case of trespassing. But with such a mentally unstable woman involved, these cops need to try and avoid a confrontation. Unfortunately, that's not what Officer Coratia has in mind when she arrives on the scene with a big mouth and a bad attitude. How about let's get this out of here, because that's not good for us. She's spraying air fresher. Look, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. At any point in time, we gotta be ready for her to open that door and be ready to fight because she seems pretty. The prop. To be ready to fight. Shawty ain't like, she ain't show no hostility. She really seemed confused. Like, if anything. Like, I think I, I think I heard her calling like a name like Diane or something. Like, I, I, I guess. But. What the hell? 
property owners want you to leave. They said that you're banned. So if you come out and leave, because you won't come out of the bathroom, they want you to leave. They said you've been here for four hours. I ain't gonna lie. Either you can come out and leave, or you can come out and go to jail. So you get to choose. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm not getting to LH. Yeah, you LH? Has 11. So either you leave on your own. <laughs> officer Croatia might have forgotten her every move is being filmed by another officer yeah, as she much jokes hurt. and laughs about a mentally ill woman on the other side of that door. But they do have a way to solve this problem peacefully. After LaDonna says she'll leave if the store manager asks her. The problem is, she isn't on site, but the cops came up with an alternative. I love my job. You guys are gonna need new air freshener. I hope you don't mind. She look crazy, my nigga. How did you get hyped? I can feel like the tension from her hand just holding it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love yeah. When she runs out of air freshener. Yeah, when she runs out, once she runs out, once she runs I'm not Why are you? Because I want you to leave and I gave you the chance. You come out on your own or you go to jail. It's then discovered that LaDonna has an aerosol can and a cigarette lighter in the bathroom with her. And Officer oh, Horatia yeah. is convinced that she's going to use it to light the whole place up if they don't get her out of there soon. As serious as this is becoming, Officer Horatia seems to be enjoying herself a little too much. Oh, God. Like, what the hell? this door down and rip you out of there. This is just what I wanted for the first damn call of the day. God damn you. Hey. Hey, someone needs to use the restroom. Can you open the door for them to use the restroom? Okay, yes, but I've been trying to kill you. Can you believe this? Why is my brother, but she looking like I got some shit going on. Like, real shit. Like, I she don't know what the hell's going on. Like, for real, but it's enough. Like, like, real shit. I don't even know what this lady looks like. Is she white? What? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Why wait? Is she white? What is? What is? What is? What the fuck? Get up, I. How am I gonna be hurt? Are you gonna stab me? Do you have any weapons, Ladonna? We have knowledge of that. Where are you talking about? My weapons are more stronger. So you don't have any weapons in there? I don't know, he might have a knife and try to stab me. I don't know. But the approach Officer Croatia is taking obviously isn't working and is only making LaDonna's behavior even worse. Yeah. And it's not going to get any easier when she threatens to unleash her taser. So you're gonna get pepper sprayed and that's gonna be a good time. So just to let you know, either you uh, open the door hello, or you get pepper bro. sprayed. She, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why is he not saying nothing? Like, yeah, and just spray right here. So she needs to go to jail for arson. She's trying to start a fire. You're gonna have to shoot me now. We're gonna have to go hands on and throw you to the ground. Oh, so oh, finally. Now it's about time. That's the sound of reinforcements arriving at the scene. And it looks like Officer Croatia is about to get her wish and finally get her hands on LaDonna. It's only moments after another officer arrives that they're finally coming face to face with a desperate suspect. Okay, so let's play. We bust it this way or we're gonna bust it and go hands on? Because we're gonna have to go hands on. She's already like threatened. Okay, so let's just go hands on and not get not, not get a seat. Okay. Ready? Yep. This arrest went viral, it caused outrage. But although the police department said the officer's conduct was highly unprofessional, no action was taken against anyone involved. Why, bro? Why? Oh, why? 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 Like, bro, let's, bro, because if I did some shit like this, bro, like, bro, come on, let's be fucking for real. 
Let's be for real, bro. Let's be honest. Come on. Like, oh my God. Like, like, let's put it into words, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna say if I did it, bro. Let's put it into words. Let's just say what they did out loud. So, I'm gonna use myself as an example. If I, as an officer, bust into a room of a mental unstable woman, bring her to the ground, she's talking about, please, please. She, she don't know what's going on, bro. Like, she, she literally doesn't know what's going on. I'm like, bro, like, what is y'all doing? Like, like, this, like, does y'all not get trained for this? Like, what, what's happening? Like, like, can y'all explain to me at least why? Oh, thankfully, there were other officers around to keep Officer Koresha from getting out of control. Unlike this next case, where a deputy decides to frame an innocent woman for possession of narcotics when he thinks nobody's looking. All right, so you were wanted the other day for possession of methamphetamine. I what? swear I don't do that. Officer Wester is no stranger to controversy, and this is one of three cases that landed three? him in the world of trouble and proves precisely why well, many people don't life. trust the police. Wester pulled over a vehicle containing a couple and three kids for seemingly no reason whatsoever. He decided he was going to frame someone in this car as a drug addict and concoct a make-believe story, which will all be captured on his own body camera. He's going to say he's found evidence of meth inside the vehicle while the couple's three terrified children are crying in the back seat. On the outside, Side. Man, you the worst fucking nigga I've seen. Hope. Fuck it, fuck you, nigga. I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be politically correct. No, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, fuck you. Ho ass nigga. Bruh, they got kids, bro. You weird as hell. Like, hope. Niggas like this, bro. Like, I, I be trying to, like, be cool. Like, I'm, I'm really like a chill, laid back ass nigga. But like, shit like this piss me up, bro. Like, for real. Like, it really arcs my soul, bro. Like, how, how can you do this to somebody? Like, like, I don't get it. Like, you treat people like they not even humans. Like, I don't understand. Like, like, like. Am I wrong? Like, y'all let me know, like, like what y'all think? Like, am I it tweaking? It seems as though Wester is playing everything by the books. But when he gets back to his patrol vehicle, he reveals on his body cam exactly what he's really thinking. Hello, man. I'll pull out the road, man. She is tripping out up there, son. Hey, all right. Um, I found your stuff. Look, we make traffic stops out here for drug interdiction purposes, okay? Is there anything illegal in the vehicle? Anything concerned about bombs, hand grenades, anything like that? Okay. Do this for me. I know it's hot. to switch the car off real quick. And, and just, man, as soon as he finishes, you can turn it back on. It's just that uh, that'll mess up the dog's nose if he smells the, the fumes. And I'm going to keep the traffic off since we're a little bit in the roadway and let him do his uh, thing. Are this shit in Alabama? Fuck this shit. Hell no. Hell no. Mm-mm. Can't even support the shit no more. Bitch ass shit. Hell no. Mm -mm. Can't even support it, my nigga. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Hell no. Nah. Fuck this shit. I, I do this 20, 30 times a shift, man. Make traffic stop. If we deploy the K9, it's nothing personal at all, man. You see how the nigga ain't barking? He ain't bark. Boy, more at. In Florida, police don't necessarily have the right to search your vehicle, but if a canine unit was to detect the scent of drugs, then that gives cops the probable cause they need to perform a search. But there's an argument about the reliability of canine units and the ability for cops to simply lie and say that the dog flagged when it really didn't. And that's exactly what Wester's plan is. All right, man, look. That was a positive alert to the odor of narcotics emitting from, the, from the interior of the vehicle. That that does give me probable cause to search the vehicle, okay? All right, now I know we've got some babies back there. I know it's hot outside. Um, if this nigga don't get life, if this nigga don't get life, if this nigga don't get life, I know, son. Like, 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 bro, she be fired. Bro, he should be treated like a felon. He's a felon. He's a bro. Like he's, like he, like he letting power go to it to his head, bro. Like he hurting an innocent family just cause he can. Nigga, they the worst nigga possible, bro. Like this is the type of nigga that kill you at nighttime and get away with it. Bro, fuck you. Hell no. Um, I am gonna search the vehicle. Um, how hard would it be for y'all to get? Kids that hang 
Look, they got, look, look they got babies. Literal babies. That pill bottle is what Wester is going to use to set this couple up. It's a legitimate medication, but Wester's about to test the substance in a bottle and completely fake the results on camera. Man, it's hot. But they all use Excedrin. These are the bike, bro. I don't feel, I don't feel no type of way towards this nigga. I just hate him. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Real shit. I don't care about your fit. Bruh, fuck you. You, you, you the worst one. So yeah, far in this video. I really see it, bro. Wester's just performed a field drugs test. The test came out pink, and it was picked I, up I, on his body I, I camera despite his thing. efforts to hide it. Pink signifies a negative test, and now the couple should be free to go. But he's about to lie and actually become a criminal himself. Do you recognize this bottle right here that was in the trash bag by any chance? Yeah, it's the one you my mom. Okay, alright. Um, look at at this point, you are detained, okay? All right, I ain't gonna put you in handcuffs in front of your kids or anything like that, but I need to ask you some questions, okay? That white little Excedrin bottle, yeah. okay? Bottom corner, with the way it was positioned, I opened it up, there is a crystallized substance in the bottle of that bottle, in the bottom of it, okay? I tested it there, it did return a presumptive positive for methamphetamine here on the side of the road. Say fucking mom, bro. Just say mom. Like if this fucking shit pissed me off, bro. Like I fucking hate bitch ass niggas. Like I fucking hate them, bro. Like I hate them, bro. Like like I I really, bro, y'all. Like I know y'all don't know me personally, but I I I never say that word. But I hate bitches. Like I hate them niggas, bro. I hate, bro, bro. Like. Alright, what? For what? She just trying to get home. Pro nigga, she, like, imagine I did this to your, to your mom. Like, niggas don't cry, like, what? To your kids. Like, that's why. Bro, that's why I can't understand y'all niggas, bro. I can't. Like, like, y'all so heartless, like. To everybody, like everybody, like not on everybody ass. Fuck, not even just the police. Like the hate that y'all fucking put into the world, bro. Like imagine somebody said that to your kid, your mom. Like, like y'all niggas weird. Like I hate these niggas, bro. I hate y'all. Like real life, bro. Like in the bottom of my soul. Like call y'all, bro. Like that's how I really feel. Like. Who can do this to somebody? Like, I couldn't even imagine doing this to somebody. Like, for what? Why? Like, imagine somebody doing this to your child. Like, it ain't innocent. Like, just, just, to, just to feel like you owe for somebody. It's childish. It's not even childish. It's demoralizing. Like, and I feel like, bro, we don't talk about shit like this enough, bro. Like, real talk. Like, I don't go as hard on these videos like I should. Like, who does this to people? Like, what do you get out of this? You go home. Uh -huh, uh -huh, like, and do it again. People supposed to feel safe around cops. People supposed to feel safe in general. People can't just, like... It's sad, bro. Like, this shit make me so mad. Like, and, like, like, it should make y'all as mad as it's making me, bro. If you see this and it don't make you fucking film, like, it don't make you pissed off. It don't make, like, imagine, bro. Like, I don't know if you got a mom, sister, brother, anybody, bro. Just friend. If somebody did, did this to you or them, like, how would you feel? Like, I don't even know this lady, bro. Like, like, it's bigger than black and white, nigga. I'm not even, like, she don't know me. I don't know where her nigga is. But it's just, like, like, as humans, bro, like, can we be better to each other? Like, y'all see what's going on across the world, bro? Like, I'm done, y'all. I'm, so my I'm question sad. is, 
Right. So my question is, first of all, is it yours? Second, do you know where it came from? Yeah, he bought it. He bought it. Okay. When did you put that bottle in the bag, or did you put the bottle in the bag? We just put it in there today. Is there anything on you? Any, no. Any, no narcotics, anything like that? Nothing. nothing I don't nothing. do anything. Okay. I smoke cigarettes. And okay. Cigarettes. All right. So you don't you don't use any kind of narcotics or anything? Okay. You never have. No. No. Okay. I, like I said, I don't mess with that stuff. And you've never I messed with no it in the past. No. No wonder the female passenger looks stunned, as she has no idea what Webster is talking about. Either she came into contact with meth through someone else, or this cop is lying. Do, do y'all, I mean, have y'all ever had anybody ride in the vehicle with you at any, any chance? Because I'm going to be honest with you, here's where I'm at right now. Right now, you are in constructive possession of methamphetamine. My brother and my sister, him and my sister, um, they used to must have thought he was home free when she mentioned she just visited family and they've had problems with drug addiction in the past. He's going to use this to his advantage and tell this innocent woman she's going to jail while trying to blame it all on her own family. If she was found guilty of possession of meth, she could face five years in prison and a $5,000. Oh, wait, bro. I should... If this nigga don't get life, bro, I swear to God. If this don't, if this nigga don't have shit, I'm ending the video, y'all. If he don't get fired, if he, bro, I promise, bro, everything I love, I'm ending the video, bro. Like, like real shit, bro. Like, I, I can't, I can't continue on. I really can't, bro. Like, see people get messed over, bro. I, like, like I know y'all. I play a lot, bro. Like, I come in here, I try to make y'all laugh, and like we, we, we having a good time. But y'all, I, I swear for God, if he don't get no time, bro, I'm leaving. On, on everything I love, bro, like real shit, bro. Real on, on everything. Y'all are fine. All right, so you are going to jail today for possession of methamphetamine because it was on your side of the vehicle. Look at her. It was on the bag. Whenever you were looking for your ID, you would reach in there, you would touch the bag. Okay, so you are in possession of that today. Like, how can you do this right. to somebody, bro? What, <laughs> what I'm going to do, though, since that young little boy is looking back, I'm not going to put you in handcuffs, okay? Shut your bitch ass. Nothing on you, right? Okay, all right. All right, I'm going to have a seat back in my car right here. You a bitch. Look, man, she's going to jail for possession of methamphetamine. And that Excedrin bottle that y'all saw me pull out, okay, there is a crystallized substance yeah. tested here on the side of the road. Yeah. Tested for presumptive positive for methamphetamine. Yeah. Hold on, did I? Hold on. Did I, hold on. It was in the bag that I saw her fiddling with. This nigga should, this nigga should be spit on, bro. Okay. Spit on. Now, with all that being said, by no means am I saying She's a bad person. She's a bitch ass. Understand that's not where I'm coming from. The state of Florida entrusts us to be a fact finder, okay? So right now she is in constructive possession of methamphetamine. Now, she told me after I read her her rights, I'm not going to read you your rights. I have no reason to because you're not detained. You're not under arrest. You still read my fucking rights. Hold on. It's or anything like that. But I do want some clarification if you can help me out with something. She told me that y'all were just at a residence in Walsall with people that use methamphetamine. So, that would be her sister and her sister's old man. So my advice in the future, don't let people that you know... She's going down for that? Yes, sir. And, and let me explain. It's a felony in the state of Florida. I don't really have discretion in the state of Florida, brother, okay? Webster is clearly loving every moment that he sets up these two innocent people, and he wants to be there until she's locked away in her jail cell. So, I'm going to let the jail staff know whenever I get there. Um, actually, I'll walk in with her, and I'll let them know that she's upset and she's scared, and they might be able to do something to her. Cause she's fucking innocent, you. This nigga don't get life. If he don't get fired, I swear, y'all. I swear, to, bro. I swear. Oh, I swear. Not, they might be able to work something out. I've never been there before. Right. Listen, man. I want your word that you'll be careful when you let around the town. Yeah. Okay. We're not going back over there no more. Okay. We're not going back over there anymore after this. You get your insurance word away. I'm going to take okay. it right now. Okay, all right, man. Y'all pretty good. Hey, if they give you a drug test, you're going to pass it, right? Since you don't have any kind of criminal history, sometimes what they can do is they can give you what's called PTI, which is pretrial intervention. 
that if you can go like a year with random drug tests, Shut it's up. like the charges Shut go up. away. Shut up. Now, by no means am I saying that's what they're going to do because after I drop you off, it's kind of out of my hands. Shut up. The biggest takeaway, I'm telling you, Lynn, is you, know, you told me that you were around you people that you used methamphetamine. You got kids in the car. You got to be careful. You can't be letting people do that. The woman was arrested for possession, but the charge was later dropped. Wester would eventually get caught out for his extremely underhanded tactics. Brother, we all are finna go into this nigga. And then I'm not trying to, no, I don't want y'all in my comments talking about fat shaming. I'm your big body built ass. Yo, man, I swear. You, 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 you know why you, you know why you do this shit to people? Cause you don't love your fucking self. You a weird ass, but I swear to God, bro. Like, you know what, bro? You don't deserve no damn words to me, bitch. Fuck you. And <laughs> like, I'm not finna talk to you. Later. It turns out this wasn't the only time he'd done this exact thing, and he was sentenced to up to 12 years for trying to put in enough. Put a series of completely enough. innocent people in jail on fake charges. But begging a fellow officer to turn off his body cam is significantly dumber than what Wester tried. Yeah, we're hot. It all starts with a 911 call about a trailer that's been reported stolen in broad daylight. This trailer's worth $10,000 and its size makes it easy to spot. But what makes it even easier is the damage it sustained as it crashed into a gate during the escape causing visible marks to one side of the trailer. An alert is sent out to the local police and the trailer is found in no time at all. Step out. Step out, put your hands on the car. This trailer's showing stolen. Oh, I didn't steal it. Okay, well, that's what you got pulled over for. Well, that's why you're good. detained, good. and I'm trying to figure out what's going on, okay? This guy said I could stay in his trailer right now. I don't know nothing about it. All right, well, we're trying to get your ID. We're going to walk back here. We're going to have a seat in my car for just a minute, and we're going to get this figured out. Understood? All right. So far, everything is being done by the books, and these cops have probable cause to pull the driver over, who denies stealing the trailer at all. This traffic stop is about to become very personal for one officer, who could face some seriously difficult questions for turning his body camera off while at a crime scene. Male driver, female passenger. Turn off the body Yeah, we're hot. We can't shut it down, we got 1015s. It's okay. Everything good? Look like shutting down calls. Um, Alright, well, everything is, is, it, is, it the, is it the victim? Well, what's the problem? Shut, you shut down the call for me, please. Man, no, bitch. You. See, y'all, uh, they got me acting out of character. They got me, they got, they got me acting out of character. Hey, 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 y'all. Uh, see, look. I'm about to take a break from these videos, bro. Like, why am I acting like this? Like, this, this don't got nothing to do with me. See, like, I, that's how y'all know I care too much. Like, this don't got nothing to do with me, and this shit got me mad as fuck. My bad, y'all. See, let me chill out. Let me chill out. I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna chill out. You stand right here, guys. Turn this off, sure will. All right. We can't shut this shit off, man. Put it on my phone, sir. I need to talk to somebody real quick. Okay. Is there something screwed up with the case, or is it something personal? Okay. Body cameras are not only crucial in providing evidence in court, they are key in maintaining transparency and trust within communities. But it's unusual for a cop to make a request like this. But his fellow cop refuses to comply, only putting his body camera down to find out what the problem is. Okay, let me handle that. That's not a cop. That's what total handle that. That's nothing to do with the case. All right, let's go up here, let's slow it down, and let's go get a statement from him. We'll deal with that in a minute, okay? I can shut my damn body camera off. He can, he can kick rocks. I ain't doing that shit. I was right here in the 2017 debacle. I ain't shutting that shit off. Thank you, bro. It was never confirmed exactly why the cop wanted the body cameras turned off so much, but some people think it was because he knew the suspect and wanted to tell the officers to call the search off. That cop did everything he could to avoid being caught on camera, unlike this next one who forgot to turn his camera off and made some truly horrifying comments. Y'all, this shit been so crazy. I forgot this one. He was even part of the video. So this shit gonna make me even more pissed, bro. Uh, this shit's crazy, bro. Like, like, I... She went up on the hood, hit the windshield, and just flew off the car. But she is dead. <laughs> this is Officer Otterer laughing and joking about... Now, you nigga, I'm gonna take my sweet time with your bitch ass. Fuck you. 
weird ass, like, like real shit, bro. You a hoe, like nigga. You a, a bro. And and you too. If you if you if you do block this video, it's cause you agree with this nigga. Cause there ain't no other reason why you block this damn video. Real real shit. Real, real life. Like, if we be in a whole stack. I ain't saying nothing crazy than what he's saying. So if you if you let this video, if you let this one stay, if you let the one I reacted to stay up, and you don't let this one stay up, it's up. Cause real, bro. If a cop get laughed about what just happened, and I can't go in on him about it, stamp it, stamp it. Why? I'm coming for you. <laughs> like real talk. All right, let's be for real. Let's be for real. Come on. About a woman who's been innocently killed by police. Come on now. This footage was captured a day after a traffic incident in Seattle where a woman in her 20s was killed by a police car speeding to an emergency. The accident <laughs> itself was nothing more than a tragedy as the officer driving was doing over 70 miles per hour responding to a call that was described as high priority. Um, I'm sure, uh... Oh, he's good. He says, well, normally we don't give voluntary statements. And, I. Uh, said, hey, you're going to have to decide if you wanted to give a statement or not, but it does not seem like there's a criminal investigation going on. He's going 50. That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a train driver. Initially, he said she was in a crosswalk. Uh, there's a witness that says, no, she wasn't, but that witness could be different because I don't think she was thrown 40 feet either. Even though it was nothing more than an accident, the officer involved must go through a drug test, and that test was conducted by Officer Otterer. This appalling lack of humanity from the officer was captured the day after when he was caught on camera showing his true colors while talking about the case. I think she went up on the hood, hit the windshield, then when he hit the brakes, flew off the car. But she is dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a regular person. Yeah, just write a check. <laughs> I'm not even mad no more, bro. I'm really, I'm, I'm sad. I'm not even mad. I'm not. I'm sad. Just like it. How? Like, how could someone see somebody, like, lose their life and move like this? Or even hear about somebody losing their life and move like this, like... <laughs> this shit crazy. You know what? We ain't no better, bruh. We ain't no better. We ain't... We ain't... We listen to music that that promotes it, and then like, and then yeah, well, there'll be two rappers beef, and we and we're like, yeah, slide on him, slide. We all fucked, bro. We all got some dark, dark, some dark inside us, bro. What we, what's up with us? Real life, bro. Like this might even be trying to. I do anything like just let's take a look at ourselves bro what are we doing who are we like what is this how it's sad bro none of this is funny entertaining the real life this whole video to make me piss like like I know I'm supposed to come in here like real one thing about me bro I'm not gonna I'm one for damn sure. I'm not finna make no joke about this. I'm not finna ah kiki. I'm finna get y'all a raw reaction. This it. This it. Like if you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, you don't. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> like, like I'm not trying to. I at this point, it's not even trying to about entertaining. Like it's just like, what are we doing? Like how, bro? <laughs> what? Eleven thousand dollars. She was twenty six anyway. She had limited value. <laughs> Officer Otterer's views are pretty clear, but not if you ask him. The video was later discovered by an employee within the Seattle Police Department and turned over for investigation. David later justified his comments, saying that they were intended to mock the lawyers that will be involved in the case. His fate remains unknown at this time. Last we heard, he was pulled off duty, and it was recommended he would be fired. Recommended. Recommended.
this shit. All right, y'all, I'm gone. Y'all leave y'all thoughts and opinions down below. I'm not, nah, I'm ready for this peanut. All right, what y'all want me to say, bro? I'm done. We out.